Anya. How you guys doing? Welcome back to another online Taekwondo class. I'm Kios Namar. So today we're going to focus on a lot of hand techniques and some combos because we've been working on a lot of kicking. So I think it's time we balance it out and work on our hands moves, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to warm up, we're going to get to the basics, and then we're going to do some combinations at the end. And then we finish it off. Have a great day, okay? So all you need is to follow me. You don't need any equipment. So the first thing we're going to do is 20 push-ups to get warmed up, right? So come take a seat. So get the 20 if you can. Most of you should be able to. Ready? Knees up. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep it up. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Make sure your back isn't like this. You want it to be straight. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Keep it up. Fourteen, fifteen. Almost there. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, last one, and 20, good job. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a plank, okay? So we're gonna get in a plank position, it's pretty easy. I'm just gonna hold this for like 30 seconds. So just ready, knees up, follow me. So make sure you're not like this, you're not like that, you're straight. You wanna keep your hands like this in front of you. I don't really care what you do with them, as long as they're sitting right here. Make sure to breathe. So I'd say about like 20 more seconds. So you should be feeling this in your abs because that's what this is for. And that's good. Nice, okay. So now we're gonna do some directional jumping jacks. So these are pretty cool. So how it works is we're gonna do five here, five to the side, five there, five there. Then we're gonna go down, so it's gonna be four, 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 three, three, and then it goes down to one. So we're gonna get started. Are you ready? Let's go. So one, two, three, four, five, turn. One, two, three, four, five, turn. One, two, three, four, five, turn. One, two, three, four, five. We're going down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four, keep it up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Going down. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Getting short. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Less. No, it's one. So one, 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 one. Okay. Gotta fix the uniform now because it got all messed up. We're gonna do a butterfly stretch now, ready? Good job. Get to catch your breath now. So put your feet together. Bend down. If you've been doing this for a while, your knees should be pretty low. Should be almost on the floor. Anyone can get there, don't worry. All you need to do is push your legs down like this. So lean forward and push. Or you can put your hands here. Then use your arms to push like this. And then you're going to put pressure in your legs, spread them out, make sure everything's all stretched out. We'll hold this for a little bit more. Now I want you to try to get your chin to your toes, or if you're super flexible, chin to the floor. Are you ready? So let's go. So chin to the toes. See, it. maybe you can get chin to the floor. I'm pulling it. Well, maybe not right now, move it tight. Pretty close. And up, okay. We're gonna do some extensions now. So when you grab one of your feet, if you need the second hand, grab it here, extend your leg out, and put it back. We're gonna do five of these and we're gonna hold it, okay? So that's two. Good job, pull it back. Three, pull it back. Four, okay, we're gonna hold this time, ready? So hold it out. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Grab this one. So that's one. Back. That's two. That's three. Get in there. Try to get that leg straight. That's four. Hold. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, just sit here. I want you to try to grab your toes, so just reach up. 
toes up, knees flat, reach forward. You should be able to get here, no problem. If you're stuck, grab here and pull. It'll get you down eventually. So good job, reach for it. We'll hold this for like 20 seconds. Try to get your head down. Don't let your knees come up, because they're gonna wanna come up from the tension. Don't let them. Keep grabbing. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, okay, we do one more stretch, and we're gonna get started. This is a cool one. I used to do this when I ran track. So you're gonna sit down like this, put your feet slightly flat. Put one foot in the air. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go across like that. So you wanna get as far sideways as you can. So you're twisting your whole back, getting stretched out. You're gonna hold it for a little bit. Try to get as far as you can. And pull it back. You're gonna do this side now. Okay, so lift this one up. Try to keep it straight, you put across, and you should be feeling this like right over here on the back. And what this does, it just lets your core be a little bit more mobile, and it's gonna give you more flexibility when we're doing our techniques, which we're doing next. Okay, stand up. Time for our techniques. So our first bunch of techniques is pretty simple. It's gonna be hand basic techniques. So we're gonna start with some jab crosses, ready? Everything we're doing, we're doing 14 reps per side here. So this is pretty easy. So jab cross, you're gonna be in the stance, you're gonna go jab, cross. Make sure you pull one, two, okay? So let's go. That's one, two, three. If you got a uniform, make a snap. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, getting there, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, oh wait, that's 15, it's too many, silly me. Okay, ready? Hands up. Try staying in front stance type of stance. Could be in a back stance, whatever you want, ready? So, one, two, three, four, rotate your hips. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, almost there, 12, 13, 14, I keep wanting to do 15, I don't know what it is. Okay, now we're gonna do what's called a lead hook into an uppercut. We're gonna combine this later into a bigger combo. What you're gonna do is you're gonna be here, you go hook, uppercut. So this could be like to the body and push this to the body, hit like in the stomach. This is good if you get too close to kick. So if 30 kicks, too close, one, two. Let's practice it, ready? So twist, one, two. One, two, one, two. That's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep it up. Eleven, hold your stance. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That's it, okay. Keep doing fifteen, got it. Okay, ready? Same thing here, so twist. Hand sideways, not like this, because you want to hit with your pinky, you want to hit with the whole knuckle. So twist and push up. And you put your hand up. Ready? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, getting there, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, oh my god, 15 again. Okay, ready? We're gonna do lead hammer fist, palm strike. So hammer fist, you're hitting with that type of part of your hand. So you're gonna go hammer fist, this one you're gonna pull it back, palm. What you're doing is you're hitting with this bone. It's a very tough bone. So you're going pop, pop. You can go like this, I prefer like that though, okay? Very hard technique, and both of these to the head. You ready? Hands up. So that's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, get there. Nine, keep it up. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I'm stopping this time. Okay, ready? And this way. So, what you can do to get this off 
is that the chamber can be a block. So if they're punching towards you, you can block, then hit them, make it like a bonus. So the punch is coming, block it, hit it, and then hit the palm, okay? Ready? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, rotate your hips, 10, 11, 12, get there, 13, last one, 14, okay? Good job, we're almost done with the basics, and we're gonna go into some cool combos. So the next thing's gonna be a cover strike. What that is, is the front hand blocks, the rear hand hits at the same time. So what we're gonna do, overhead block, chop at the same time, so it looks like this. So, technique is coming, block up and hit. You can hit here, and you can do this with a closed hand too, like that, or open, whatever you want. Ready? So, one, so you're in stance, two, now you have to have a good overhead block or you're gonna get punched in the face. Three, four, five, I'll do it with close hands, six, ready? Seven, eight, nine, 10, keep it up, 11, 12, 13, 14, okay? Good job, as you can see, I'm getting a good cardio workout, and so should you. If you need a drink, you can just take a sip, get back to the action. We're gonna do the other side now, so same thing. When you do overhead block, what's important though is you don't just do this. Or you don't just go away. Punch coming towards you, you need to push it up or it's gonna get hit. You'll learn in time, don't worry, you ready? So, one, two at the same time. So, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, close in, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, okay? Good job, we're gonna do one more technique, which is gonna be the turning back fist. This is a good one to mix into combos, we're just gonna do it alone right now. So you're gonna be here, I want you to just do this. Step, so behind yourself. So you're gonna go like that. Now we're gonna be guard stance, ready? Back hand's gonna hit, so chamber, hit. Spin around, ready? I'll show you one more time before we start, ready? So chamber, spin around. And if you're doing this really hard, you could swing through into something else, okay? Let's go. Let's see. So, so, turn. One. You can do that. Step back. Two. You can step back this way. Three. Four. Five. You want your turn to be quick so you don't get hit. Six. I'm getting a little busy. Seven, don't do this many at once ever. <laughs> Eight. Nine. Ten. We're getting there. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Last one, ready? Fourteen. I'll give you a second. Get dizziness out of your head because whoa, you should be spinning around a little bit from doing 14 of those in a row. So get your other hand front, bend your knee, chamber, that's one, step back, right? That's two, back, that's three, back, that's four, back, get in there, five, back, six, back. Seven, back, getting dizzy. Eight, back, ooh, gotta hold my balance up. Nine, get in there, don't give up. Ten, eleven, oh no, almost there. Twelve, almost. Thirteen, last one, ready? I'm really dizzy. Fourteen, okay? 
Good job. Just because of that, I'm so dizzy. I'm gonna give you a break here. Come take a seat. We do not stretch. Okay. One foot folds in, one foot out. Reach up. Might try to grab both hands over your toes, okay? So just relax, breathe. Should be feeling this right over here. Maybe right over here in your leg too. Okay, and let's switch it to the other side. Sometimes you gotta stretch again, you know? It's part of the workout. Reach up. Try to reach over, get both of those hands over the top. Might be harder on one side. So I gotta pull, I got it. Okay, hold it. We're getting there. Okay, and that's it. Good job. We're gonna do some cool combinations now. So you shouldn't be dizzy anymore. Next thing we're gonna do is, it's a pretty cool one, it's a jab across the uppercut. I've probably done this one in class with you a few times. This is so easy. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna go jab, cross, hook, uppercut. So these three would be to the head if you can do that. So one, two, three. This one, you're hitting the stomach in the ribs, okay? So we're gonna do 12% here. Actually, let will make it 10% just to make it go a little quicker and get more reps in, right? So that's one. That's two, try to keep it fast. That's three. That's four. That's five, keep it up. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, last one. 10. So when you punch him, core strength equals punch strength. And so does good stance. It's not just the arms, okay? Other side, hands up, so jab, cross, hook, uppercut. That's one, ready? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just like that, okay? We're gonna do something called cross, jab into an elbow. So no jab, cross. We go cross, jab, elbow. Could grab if you want, or you could just go free elbow. I'll show you one more time. Cross, jab, elbow. Let's do 10, right? So that's one, that's two, that's three, four, five, keep it up. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch the side, remember the backhand punches first. Front hand goes next, come back for the elbow. This is super close range technique, so when you're hitting it, make sure you're close enough to hit. You only have this much. Ready? So, that's one, that's two, that's three, that's four, that's five, that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, okay? Shake it out a little bit. We're getting there, we're getting close to the end. We have some more things to do first. We do another cover technique. What we're gonna combine is the down block, the punch into one motion, so we're gonna go at the same time. So if they're kicking, get that foot out of the way, punch them, right? Same time you block, okay? So you can't do this. You could, but that's a different move. Okay, ready? 10, so one. Move forward, we're gonna do a two. Two. Three, keep it up. Four, get that body shot right when they kick you. Five. Six. Seven, eight, almost there. Nine, last one, ready? 10. We're gonna do it this way, same thing. Make sure the block actually 
goes all the way. If you're just putting it there, it's not gonna work. You have to have actually swing it, get that foot out the way, okay? Ready? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ready? 10. Okay, this is a cool one. Call this move the shovel hook. So, here's normal hook. Here's normal, sorry, here's normal hook. Here's normal uppercut. We're only at like 45. So the body's right here. So if you get really close, you throw a kick, they're too close. Go for the ribs, go one, two. That's what we're gonna do, okay? So we're gonna go front hand, up, back hand, up at like a 45. Hitting right there at the ribs, it's gonna hurt, okay? 10, ready? So, one, two, three, four, hit them hard, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, switch foot. So again, like I said, throw a kick, getting close, hit them right there. You're probably not gonna be ready for it. Let's try this side. So, one, two, it's all that hips. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. That's six. Seven, get in there. Eight, nine, ten. Perfect, okay? As you can see, I'm breathing pretty hard. I have a cool one, I call this one the tornado, and trust me, it works, ready? What are you gonna do? You go back fist, cross, back fist, well, it's a hook, ready? Back fist hook, back fist hook, ready? So one, two, one, two. We're not gonna do too many. We're doing four and four, so four per side. How this works is you move forward, and then you're gonna try to get across their guard. You run the risk of getting hit, but that's just part of the game, ready? So one, two, one, two, that's one. That's two. That's a fun one. That's three. Last one. That's four. I'm getting dizzy. Whoa, okay. This side. One, do it with me slow ones. One, two, one, two. That's one. One, two, one, two. Make it spinning, right? Three, one more. Don't want to spin anymore, please. Ready? <laughs> Good job. Don't do that one too many times, or you will get counterattacked. Time for the cool down. Ready? So we're gonna do some stretches. First thing is gonna be trunk twists. So pretty easy. Spin around. If you made it this far, it's like always. I'm very impressed. Congratulations. After this, might be time for a good drink and to relax because you deserve it. Okay. Couple arm circles, and getting those shoulders really tense and all that punching. And go back, forward, back. Okay, we're almost done. Trust me. Couple of these, so the swing your arms back and forth. They're called huggers, because you're hugging yourself. Can we straighten myself out? So, thank you for coming. Thank you for training. So we did great today, working a lot of those hand techniques. It's a great cardio, it's great practice for your Taekwondo moves. So when we come back, you are ready, you're sharper than you were before. So just like always, I hope you're happy, I hope you're healthy. Have a great day. Bye.